I got to Kappa Island from、um, Halong Bay, which、uh, has a ferry service, and it takes about less than three hours. From the port,、uh, I was able to hire a couple of motorbike cabs、uh, to cross the island to where my hotel was. And、uh, one cab was for myself, and、uh, the other one was for my luggage, and it was really reasonable. And、um, so, in this、uh, vid, we have、uh, my drone, my night droning,、um, in the、uh, developed region of Katba Island. I found a, a sort of a, a parking spot、um, that was、uh, open enough without any trees. I was able to go up and have a look, a look from、uh, you know 90, 90 meters, and、uh, and then、uh, I decided to take the drone for a walk on the way back to the hotel. So this is what we're seeing: is basically the drone. About ten feet in height, and we're just walking along the、uh, winding streets of、uh, Kappa Island. And、uh, what was、uh, really interesting was that hardly anybody paid attention to the fact that I was flying a drone as I was walking,、um, which basically sums up.、Um, My generalization of Kappa Island, which is basically、um, very carefree,、um, no big whoop, very laid back, and for that reason, I would go back any time. Especially when you compare to, you know, the overdeveloped、um, situation you have in Halong Bay.、Uh, Kappa Island really is a, a place where you can. And、uh, just, just chill. What I found about、uh, notable about Katba Island's、uh, dining choices, like really within walking distance, all concentrated in the same kind of walking distance area, was the quality of the eateries that you had to choose from,、um, and unusual, you know,、uh, things like like、uh, pastas, like European. Type pastas,、um, or just about anything. Like the food choices there were really quite、um, abundant in, in terms of、uh, you had like if you didn't, if you felt like something in particular on a particular night. 
um, you could easily find something to satisfy that want. Um, yeah, that's Kappa Island. Uh, so, I also kind of felt like it was a very safe place to be walking around in the middle of the night. Um, there's something about um, how everything is all tied in with um, the tourist trade that, um, you know, there really isn't anything to, to really keep your guard up over. Um, and another uh, notable thing that I was that I would recommend that one do is take a uh, an excursion, a boat excursion from Kappa Island uh, for the day. And you know, you hope you have great weather. And it basically, um, you know, it goes to places nearby within Halong Bay, and you can have. Uh, kayaking or um, you know you you have you basically have like a DJ on your boat with like a bar with uh, you know maybe 30 people that you're sharing the boat with and you just scoot around to different places we went to a place called Monkey Island unfortunately that particular day uh, the monkeys did not come out at their uh, you know their uh, generated sunset is when they're see them that day but we did so many other things um, and I had just previously done an overnight uh, cruise from um, Halong Bay and I have to say uh, the day cruise um, somehow surpassed my overnight cruise that I took from Halong Bay Thank you.